Hi friends and welcome back. In today's video, I am so excited to share with you some fun summer ideas that you can do with your family while they're home from school or taking a break from homeschool. So make sure to stick around and watch. I don't know about you, but for my family, summer is that coveted time of year. We look forward to our summertime all of the time. I think for me, because I'm a teacher and I work from August to June, those summer months are just always months that I've always looked forward to having off. And ever since I've had children, it has been my time that I absolutely enjoy with my kids at home. And I have turned down summer school year in, year after year because I find this time to be so special with my children. Now that we homeschool, our kids also look forward to the summertime just because, you know, I'm home with them, we're home, and we do a lot of fun things in the summertime, though weather is beautiful outside and we take full advantage of that. With that being said, that does not mean that we don't do a little bit of learning here and there. Even before we homeschooled our children, our summers, I had structured them with a schedule so that, you know, some learning could still happen, but we could still have some fun. It is just the way that it has worked for my family and I have found that my kids are super excited and super happy and they really look forward to the days of the week depending on what it is that we are going to do. So let's go ahead and dive in into some of these ideas that I have for you today. Every single day of the week we have a different themed activity that we do and it just it makes it really fun and the kids really start to look forward to those particular days. And I don't have to answer all of the time, mom, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Because the kids already know what to expect. So for example, Monday would be make it Monday. And on Monday we would do some sort of an art activity. So we could go outside and do some, some sidewalk art or bring some canvases outside, do some painting outside. My daughter absolutely loves painting. So I personally don't like it inside the house because you know, sometimes that acrylic paint can get on the floor. And in the winter time, we do paint inside the house. I just use paper bags to cover the floor or whatever is the surface. But the summertime, we just take it outside and it just works so well. Um, you could do some coloring time outside. Just something about being outside is really inspirational and you can have them either, you know, draw a scene of something that they see outside or a plant that they see or a animal or a bug that they see. It really could be anything. It could be with clay too, if you want to have them do something out of that um, molding clay that they sell, Crayola sells it, like you mold it and then you let it sit and it air dries. You could do that too. So Make It Monday can be just a fun time for you and your family to do, to make some sort of an art project. For Tuesdays, um, Tuesdays during the school year, <laughs> when I go to work, Tuesdays are tired Tuesdays for us. We're so tired. But in the summertime, <laughs> um, we switch it around a little bit. So like I said, these days sometimes change in order depending on the year, but this is how I'm planning it for this year. So Tuesdays would be, you know, tidy Tuesday. So we tidy up around the house a little bit and then we go into the library and our library has so many wonderful resources. I strongly advise you to take advantage of your local library. They have programs, they have of course free books. You don't have to buy them. You can borrow them, read them and return them and save the clutter in so that it doesn't come to your house. <laughs> so. I love our library. In the summertime, they our library puts out a calendar of different activities that they have throughout the summer. And I book those in my planner. So if there's something that I know that my kids are really gonna enjoy and it doesn't fall on the Tuesday, we still do it. It's just very flexible. But having like a theme day just makes it a lot easier. It doesn't mean that it can't change. It can change to based on what we're going to do, but it just gives us an outlook. So now for Wednesdays, I love Wednesdays. Wednesdays, we call it Water Wednesday because we do something that has to do with water. In our case, we have the peninsula here in Erie, which we love. 
We don't just go to the peninsula on Wednesdays, okay? Wednesday is the designated day that we are going to go during the day. However, sometimes we go to the peninsula two or three times a week when my husband comes home from work after dinner to catch the sunset, to do some beach glass collecting. But as the summertime in the morning, the kids have a blast. They know that that's the day we're going to the beach. They have their bathing suits ready and they will hop in there and look for beach glass. That's what they do most of the time, but they can get in the water and get wet. And Water Wednesday can also be like, if you don't have a beach like we do or anything like that, you can do water in your front yard or your backyard if you have one. It, you'd be amazed what a bucket full of water, how much fun that can be. So for my kiddos, when they were younger, I would, it's funny because my neighbors would look and they'd be like, you know, you would think they're in a big pool in there. <laughs> so we used to have these totes, okay? Like, you know, regular totes. And my kids would just play with the hose. They would get in those totes. If you would have seen these kids, you would have thought that they were in a deep pool. Like to them, that was like all that. They thought it was the best thing in the world. They had so much fun. You know, just a fun water activity where there is water balloons or turning on the hose for a little bit, just giving them that time to enjoy the beautiful outdoors and get wet in some sort of a way. For Thursday, this year I'm doing Thinking Thursday. Yeah, and so one thing that we're gonna do on Thinking Thursday is that's gonna be our hands-on experiment day. We are going to be doing some science experiments. So I have planned out that on Thursdays, we are going to set up our experiments. We're gonna do some hypothesizing, thinking what is it, how is this gonna turn out, what do we think it's gonna happen, and then throughout the week, we will do observations. Some of these science experiments are definitely gonna take more than a week, but I thought, like my kids love science experiments. So I thought it'd be fun that on Thursdays, we would theme it into making a new science experiment. And we would have, the way I'm thinking is, we are going to have different things going on um, that are different science experiments that we set up. But that way they could practice hypothesizing, making observations, jotting down observations in their journals, seeing how things change. And that can be a fun educational activity with the kids where they are learning, but at the same time, they're having a fun time. For Fun Friday or Field Trip Friday, you can choose to go somewhere fun, whether it be the playground, whether it be to a fun place like the zoo or a local museum. It is up to you however you want to make this work. For us, in the past, we used to have a zoo membership, an annual zoo membership, and we would go to the zoo every single week. And the great thing about the zoo membership was that it was very inexpensive. It was only $80 for the annual membership and you could go to it unlimited amount of times. This year we didn't do the zoo membership. We got a different membership. We got the Carnegie Museum membership. And then for that, it has reciprocals. So here in Erie, we could go to the Children's Museum or to the Art Museum for free with our Pittsburgh membership. My daughter loves trips to the playground. So even if I go to the Children's Museum, we can still stop at the playground. Last year, when we did our playground days, I would pack a lunch for the kiddos. So we would actually go have lunch at the playground while they played. And I don't always just go to like our local playground. Sometimes I'd go to Edinburgh and just meet my husband there for lunch so that the kids could see him, give my husband a nice little surprise visit. And the kids enjoy that time too. Um, they could go to their grandparents' house for like a 30 or 40 minute visit. It's just a fun Friday. You know, fun Friday doesn't just have to be going to a place. It could be like, you know, going to the mall or going to a store if, you know, they want to purchase something. I don't know. It could be just something fun. Now for Saturday is usually we are home on Saturdays. We don't go like Saturdays is my errand day. Let's put it that way. So I 
pick up the groceries. I do my things at home. My husband gets home around one in the afternoon and then I go visit my mom on Saturdays. So that's usually a mellow day that we stay home and Sunday is just typically a church day. So we are home as well. We go to church, we come back home. And if we have enough energy, we might make a pit stop at the beach. Now, those are just ideas for different theme days that you can have. When it comes to daily rhythm or daily schedules, I am a big fan of scheduling. I love having schedules in my home just because it gives everybody an expectation for the day and it just sets the momentum and the rhythm so that things get done and we are, I'm, I can have some time to do things <laughs> and the kids know what to do. Okay. So typically in, during the summer months, I have a schedule for the kids and this works out very well for my son. I print it out and I put it in his room so he knows what is happening throughout the day. He really thrives with scheduling. I love a good schedule. My daughter, you know, as long as she knows at what time are we doing something, she's pretty good. So having a schedule really helps us. A typical schedule for us in the summertime would be getting up in the morning around 8 30 to 9. My kids get up earlier before then but they are not going to go outside yet until we do that breakfast time. So breakfast is usually 8 30 to 9 and I'll make breakfast for them. We will eat breakfast and during that time will be our devotion time. Now I haven't gotten a devotion book for this year so if you guys have any suggestions for any good devotional books for kids go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'm really I'm I there's a couple that I've been looking into Amazon um but if there's any suggestions you have go ahead and let me know because I, I I'd rather have suggestions <laughs> than getting something and then be like man that really didn't work out. So we do our devotionals and then after our devotionals, we'll do some sort of journaling. This is going to be my daughter's first year doing this. So I'm really excited about it. And this year, I'm just going to give them a couple of prompts that where we can just get our minds going, journal for a little bit. I do like to schedule in 20 minutes of reading where they can read a book of their choice. Just read something to keep your brain going. When it comes to math this year, I know my daughter really is loving addition. I can always print stuff out for her from Teachers Pay Teachers if she really wants to. With my son, he's been doing pretty well. Um, so I'm not pushing that very much for him. And then I like to schedule in some time for them to have independent quiet time because mama needs some quiet time too so that mama can do some work. <laughs> so during independent quiet time, that can be them playing in their rooms, playing with their own little toys, with their Legos, with my daughter's Barbies, whatever it is, is their independent time while mommy gets some work done and I can you know edit or write my blog post or something usually that is about an hour that I devote to on a daily basis during the day and so they you know it, they know what to expect they do get some screen time some game time so typically in the summertime that would be in the afternoon after we do our fun activity those are just some of the activities that my family enjoys doing in the summertime and that we plan to do during the summer months I hope that you found some of those activities relatable to your family and that you can do with with your family are as well. If there is anything else that, that you and your family do in the summer, go ahead and share it with me in the comments below. I always enjoy hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.